All right, let's just go with the old classic opener. <sighs> let's go. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. In today's episode, we're gonna take a break from all these fishing videos I've been doing, and we're gonna talk about knot tying. We're gonna talk about some of the knots that I use. If you watch my videos, you know that I like to preach that fly fishing doesn't have to be complicated. There are tons of different knots out there, but on a regular fishing day, I use maybe one or two or three knots. So that's what we're gonna talk about. But before we start this video, I would like to remind you that you can go to hugeflyfisherman.com where you can watch all of my videos that I've made and you can buy huge fly fisherman merch like stickers and hats and shirts and koozies and hoodies all that kind of stuff it helps support the channel and allows me to make more fly fishing videos for you okay you ready let's go three knots that I use every day just so you know I invented all of these knots don't believe anything to the contrary I'm quite innovative number one the clinch knot the clinch knot is used for tying your fly onto your tippet I've made a video about it it's right here that video is actually about the improved clinch knot, but I don't really do that anymore because I'm lazy. A regular old clinch knot is working fine for me. For most of my trout fishing, I'm gonna take five or six turns a tippet for the clinch knot. For thicker tippet, you'll use fewer turns, and for thinner tippet, you'll use more turns. That's kind of a general rule of knot tying. You can substitute the clinch knot with something like a loop knot if you want your fly to have more action like a nymph or a streamer. It'll swim better. Well, that's what they say anyway. I don't know if it really works, but hey, if it makes you feel better, go for it. While we're talking about general knot tying rules, don't forget to lube your knots. It helps them seat better and keeps them from breaking. Okay, second knot, the double surgeon's knot. The double surgeon's knot is used for attaching two different pieces of line together, like your leader to your tippet. Did you break your leader after you got it stuck in a tree and now you need to add more tippet? The double surgeon's knot is the knot that you use. Do you wanna extend your leader to get a more natural presentation? The double surgeon's knot is a knot you can use. The double surgeon's knot is super simple. I haven't made a video about it, so I'll just explain it real quickly right now. You take the end of your leader and the end of your piece of tippet and you lay them over each other like this. Then using both lines, you make a simple overhand knot and pull the end of the tippet through. If you stopped right there, it's a surgeon's knot. So what do you think we're gonna do? You're gonna go through one more time. That makes it a double surgeon's knot. Then you lube it and pull it tight. There you go, you got more tippet on your leader now. You can even do a triple surgeon's knot if you want. It's okay, there are no rules in fly fishing. One important thing to consider when you're doing a double surgeon's knot is that you can't have too big of a difference between your line diameters. A jump of one X size is fine, two X sizes, you're pushing it a little bit. So you're not gonna tie five X tippet onto the end of a zero X leader. It's not gonna work. You would taper your leader down from that 0x to 5x by adding different incremental sections getting smaller as you go. That's how it works. Okay, are you ready for knot number three? Are you writing all of this down? You don't have to, you can just watch the video again. The third knot is the blood knot, which like the double surgeons is also used for attaching two pieces of line together. I like to use a blood knot better than a double surgeons when I'm attaching thicker pieces of leader and tippet together. It makes a smoother knot. I'll use a double surgeons up to about 4X and then anything 3X and bigger, I'm using a blood knot. Also like the double surgeons knot, you don't wanna have two too big of a difference in diameter of the lines that you were attaching. The blood knot can be a little bit tricky to learn. I haven't made a video on it, but check out this one right here. It's a really cool way to tie a blood knot. I wish I had learned to tie a blood knot this way. It's so quick and easy, it's stupid. And you can clean your teeth afterward. By the way, you wanna do about six turns of tippet on your blood knots. And that's gonna do it. Clinch knot, double surgeons, blood knot. Three good knots that I use all the time. There are certainly plenty of other knots you can get fancy with, but you don't have have to. Well, I'm going to finish this beer and get out of here. Thanks for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I'll be back next Monday like I am every single Monday with another video about fly fishing for you. So until I see you next time, go hang out on the couch, practice some knots, and stay huge.
You guys hanging around for the beer? There's no beer today. This is a quick video. Go fishing. <laughs>